Greetings, everybody. So in this video on how to use COCA to improve your academic writing, uh, we're going to look at a couple of more advanced search terms that you might want to include um, throughout your experience uh, using COCA to improve your writing. Um, so I have three uh, search terms that I want to show everyone today. The first is finding synonyms. The second is using lemmas. What are lemmas and how might the, they be helpful in your writing? And then lastly, uh, wildcard searches and what those entail. Um, so something, uh, just a brief note about these uh, search terms. Uh, you know, I can, I can tell you how you might use them. Um, however, I have also found that just sharing these search terms with students, uh, you yourself might find a unique way uh, to use these search terms to help with your writing as well. Uh, so, um, so let's take a look at this first search term, uh, finding synonyms. So in, in COCA, uh, it's really easy to find common synonyms for uh, words or terms that you are searching for. And you can do this simply by adding an equal sign to the beginning of their search term. So I have two uh, examples here, data and significant, and I will show you just how to do this. So I'm using the list search function here. You can see that is, is highlighted. And I'm going to just search for equals data. And here right away, uh, we have uh, common synonyms uh, that are used for data in the corpus. Um, so this can be very useful and you can ask, actually see at the end of this, we have an S here and this is a hyperlink as you can see at the end and you can click again and find synonyms for that word. So for example, if I want a synonym for numbers, I can just click on that. And it's actually telling me there's no synonym for numbers. Um, but let's say information. And here I have more synonyms for uh, the word information, right? Again, another quick example. Um, significant, maybe we want to find a synonym for significant. Again, equal significant. And again, we have uh, common synonyms that are located in the corpus for significant. Ranked, as you can see, ranked by frequency, overall frequency in the corpus. So that's uh, one uh, nice um, uh, uh, search term to use. The next one I want to share, it might take a little uh, more explaining. So this is finding lemmas. So lemma is the root form of a word. Sometimes you might think of this as the dictionary form of the word. So for example, um, the lemma of running, runs, ran, and run is just run, the base form of the word. If you want to know what run means in the dictionary, you're going to look up run and you'll see that definition, but then it will also probably say also can be used as running, runs, past tense, ran. Um, so this is the dictionary form of the word. And let me give you some examples of how to search for this. Um, we, uh, the way that you search for this is you just search the root form in all caps. So I have two options here, examine and choose. And so we'll take that first uh, example first, examine in all caps. And here's what we have, examine, examined, examining, examines, right? Uh, and let me show you the other word. Um, I think this uh, search uh, ability is really helpful for verbs that have irregular forms because it will give you all different forms of that verb. So here we have choose, right? And here we have choose, chose, chosen, choosing, chooses. So we have singular, past tense, past participle, progressive forms. I also like this example because at the end, the very last one, choosed, choosed, and you might uh, recognize this as incorrect, right? This is not a grammatically correct word. And if we look over at the frequency, we can see it appears only one time in this whole corpus. So what does that tell me? Well, if I click on it, 
and I look at the context, I can actually see it's spoken English um, and, and it's an error. It's an error. So I think that's important to realize that sometimes uh, this language is authentic, right? And on occasion, you might see an error or two in the corpus. So please keep that in mind. Uh, just because you see it in the corpus does not always mean it is correct. And in this case, if I look here, I can see frequency, very low. And if I look at the context, the context is spoken, uh, probably a, a non-native speaker making just a small error in their grammar. So uh, again, this is very useful perhaps for finding irregular forms of verbs. The last, the last one I want to look at is wildcard searches. Now this is a really unique uh, search function in the corpus. So if you add a star to your search phrase or search term, uh, it's going to find all the common options that might replace that star. So for example, at the blank of common phrase, um, but there's a lot of different options we could put in place of that star. So if we use this wildcard search, um, and again, uh, at the blank of, and again, what's it's going to give you once it searches, it's going to give you uh, sorted by frequency, the most common uh, words, uh, search terms that occur with that star in place. We have at the end of, at the university of, at the top of, at the time of, at the beginning of, etc. Uh, so it's, that's really uh, good to, to look at some options for common phrases that we have in academic writing. Not only can you use it for words, but you can use the wildcard search for parts of words. So I'm going to type almost economy, right? But I want to know uh, options for this word. Uh, you might know that we can add lots of suffixes um, to, to the end of this word. And if I find matching strings, you can see economic, economy, economics, economies, economists, economist. So uh, there's, uh, it's just going to add whatever you could use to finish that word. Um, uh, in term, and it's going to give you the results in order of frequency. Another, another nice example of this is if I say unstarable, right? Unblankable, right? And if I search that, I, I'm seeing whatever is in the middle of that word, what could possibly fill in that space, we're seeing it. Unable, uncomfortable, unbelievable, unacceptable, undesirable. So again, these are just uh, ways to help improve your writing, maybe check word forms a little bit, uh, check suffixes, check prefixes. Uh, so uh, these three search terms are just um, ways that you can uh, combine your searches to create um, more specific searches for whatever context you are writing for to help improve the accuracy and the academic uh, nature of your written language. Thank you.